hey guys so today i'm doing another video on how to make your garland fuller so here i have a quad which is four balloons that i'm now going to add to the bottom of that garland and i'm using the neck to neck method but feel free to use a 260 q if that works better for you now i'm first going to move that pink 18 inch balloon to the front because i want to add a 24 inch balloon on the left side as well and I don't want them to be too close to each other. Now I'm grabbing a cluster of six 11 inch balloons and one 24 inch balloon and adding that to the bottom of the garland. And then I'm gonna move it around because I want that 24 inch balloon to be a little bit more in the back. Now that I'm happy with the positioning, I'm going to take another quad of four balloons and I'm going to tie that to the yellow cluster that I just added into the garland. And now I'm just seeing where I want to put my next little cluster or quad and then I'm going to move that big 18 inch balloon to the bottom and to the left a little bit and now I'm taking that quad and I'm going to add this to the first quad that I added in the beginning so this is going to be attached to that very first quad that I added to the garland and then I'm just moving it around I now want to kind of start closing it off so I'm going to turn that quad that I just added into a cluster of six by adding this dupe right here and then I'm going to take that cluster and I'm going to tie it to the yellow quad that I added on the left so I'm gonna pull those two into each other and I'm going to tie them and in doing that the big 18 inch balloon is going to move to the top a little bit but that's okay one tip that I can give is to always put quads at the ends of your garland to give it a more pointy look but besides that it's really based upon your style and practice so I can keep doing these because it looks different every single time so leave it in the comments if that's something that you would like and I hope that helps